We begin with breaking news out of Rancho Bernardo this afternoon where a fire has erupted alongside the northbound side of the 15. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Crews have been on the scene for a little over an hour now. The fire is just east of the 15 and a little bit south of West Bernardo Drive. CBS 8 Steve Price is live with the latest for us. Steve. And Carlo and Heather, some good news. Fire crews jumped on this quickly. They knocked down the flames that were on that hillside you see behind me. In fact, let me go ahead and step out of the way so you can get a better look and you can see the area there that is blackened from where that fire raced through. Now, I want to give you a little perspective as to where we are so that you can understand where this happened. That's the 15 north, the closest lanes to us. You can see that the traffic uh, is slowing down a little bit because there are fire trucks on on the freeway and you can probably see that sign that says Pomerado Road, West Bernardo Drive, a half a mile. So we're just a half mile south of that exit off the 15. Now fire crews are there on the freeway because there was a concern for a while that this fire could actually jump the freeway and go to the other side. There are several houses on both this side and that side of the freeway. So very scary. In fact, we had a chance to talk with somebody who was just heading home from work when he saw the flames not far from his home. Oh, the mountain the side was on fire. The whole thing, just flames uh, burning like crazy. And that section over by the freeway, it was all, it was super close to the freeway. So the whole thing started around 245. Haven't had a chance to check in with fire crews to see if they know what started the fire, but it definitely took off quickly. And so they quickly attacked this both from the ground and from the air. In fact, in talking to some folks, they said the air attack really made a huge difference out here today. They were able to get ahead of the fire because as you can see in these shots that we took earlier, it is very tough terrain out here. No easy access roads for the fire crews to get up close. They had to hike up to where they were just to fight the fire, but they were able to get all those helicopters in early to make all those water drops and knock this thing down. There are still some hot spots out here, but for the most part, crews are feeling good about the situation out here, and so are the folks who live in the area. Uh, the whole hillside was on fire. The ridge right there, and then the uh, firemen were on the pulling the hose along, trying to put it out manually, you know, without a truck or anything. And uh, it was just spreading right across, but it was a big, a big range of fire. Yeah, really a different scene uh, when he first got here than what we are seeing out here right now. In fact, you might be able to hear a helicopter coming back around now to take another look and see if he needs to make another drop. In the meantime, we have crews all up on the hillside uh, trying to put out any hot spots to keep this from going any further. So once again, uh, looks like crews have gotten the upper hand on this fire burning along the Rancho Bernardo area right next to the 15 freeway. Let's go ahead and see if uh, he's going to make a drop right there. It doesn't look like he is. He is circling above one little small area where we see. Oh, now I do hear the siren, so that's a sign that he could be about ready to make that drop after going around one more time. Let's uh, stay with him for just a moment here because I did see uh, this. Oh, there he goes right now and nailed exactly where we saw that smoke coming. Boy, Heather and Carla, we've seen this so many times in fires in San Diego, and yet every time, so awesome to see how accurate these guys are dropping water from the air right where it needs to go. Yeah, and Steve, to give our viewers the vantage point, right on the other side of that hill is several neighborhoods with hundreds of homes packed inside. I saw that you talked to that one gentleman. Do we know if some of the other neighbors were beginning to evacuate or their concern there? There were some evacuation orders in place. We don't know exactly how many people they asked to evacuate, but they did go into those neighborhoods and tell folks fire is coming, pack up, grab what you need to go. Heather, talk about timing. I actually was speaking with Cal Fire earlier. Here comes another drop. I was speaking with Cal Fire earlier, and that was his one tip to everybody on these Santa Ana days. Be ready so that if that call comes, you hope it doesn't, but if that call comes, you are ready to grab what you need and get out quickly. And Steve, one thing that's really good, we know just less than a mile from that hill is Lake Hodges. So those helicopters, they have a ready water source that they can go to fill up and come back repeatedly and just pummel the flames and put out that fire. And it looks like it certainly helped in this case. Yeah, exactly. He has been making those round trips very quickly because we do have the advantage of that water source so close. Great uh, 
thing to realize there, Carl, because that is so important when we have a situation like this.